Okay then my friends, so now we have the auth group right here and inside that we've got two pages ready to go. We have the login page and the register page. Now we'll be fleshing these out fully later on and hooking them up to an authentication service but I do just want to add one thing to each page for now and that one thing is going to be a button which will eventually serve as a submit button to the login and register forms when we create them. But I thought I'd introduce the idea of making pressable buttons now, which we can add to these pages because we'll also be using them in future lessons for other pages as well. So then let's think about this. When we make a button, normally we need to react to a user clicking on those buttons, right? Or in the case of a mobile app, that would be just a user pressing on the screen where the button is. And to react to those presses on the screen, React Native provides us with a component called pressable. So let's try using this in the login page to see how it works. The first thing we need to do is import the pressable component from React Native. So let's do that at the top of the file. Then let's come down to the template below the title, but above the link to the register page, and we're going to use this pressable component. Now, the pressable component itself has no visual presence automatically, but we can style the pressable component to have one using the style prop like we would for any other component. But the different thing about a pressable component is that it has a couple of different states that we can style. It has a regular state and also a pressed state, which you can style separately. Now, if you work with CSS before for the web, you could almost think of the press state as a little bit like, I don't know, the hover state for elements, which could be styled accordingly. But how does this work when it comes to applying styles to this pressable component? Well, as a value to the style prop, we pass a function instead, which accepts an argument from which we can destructure a pressed property. And this pressed property will either be true or false true when this pressable component is being actively pressed by the user and false when it's not. Now, as a return value for this function, we can supply an array of styles. The first element in this array could be a reference to maybe a button rule, which we're gonna define in a moment down in the style sheet. And this button rule would be for styling the component in its normal unpressed state. But then as a second value, we could conditionally apply another rule only if that pressed property is true. Now to do that, we can say pressed, then a double ampersand, and then we're gonna say styles.pressed. So right here, we're saying only apply this pressed rule or class, whatever you wanna call it, which we'll define shortly in the style sheet, when this pressed value is true, when the user is pressing the button. So then let's make these rules in the style sheet. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, paste in an import up here, which is the colors object from inside the constants folder. And that's because we're going to use that colors object down here inside the styles. Now, we need two styles, don't we? One for the button in its kind of original state for this thing right here, and then also a pressed one when it's being pressed. So again, I'm just going to paste both of these in. The button is very simple, it has a background color where we grab the primary color from the colors object. Now, if we go back to that, if we take a look, that's not inside dark or light, so it doesn't depend on the theme itself. We just have a primary color up here for things like buttons, and that's like a purple color. So that's what we're applying as the background color to the button. We give it some padding and a border radius. And then when it's being pressed, when we have that pressed class as well, we apply opacity to it. So it looks a little bit different. It's going to mean it's a fainter purple that we see. Now inside this press ball, we need some kind of text. And what I'm going to do is just output maybe a text component to do that. It doesn't need to be a themed one. Let's just do a text component because we always want the color of the text to be white, right? We don't need this to change dependent on whether it's going to be a light or dark theme because the background color of the button itself is not going to change. So let's just do this in line and say the color is going to be like a very, very light gray. So we'll say F2, F2, F2. All right. So then as the text, we can just say register. All right. Now, if I save this, hopefully we should see, oops, that should be login, not register, shouldn't it? Login. All right. So let's go to the login page and currently it's not working. So there must be some kind of error. And I think that's because the text component that we use right here inside the pressable is not being imported. So let's do that text, save it again. And then let's go to the login page. All right, so there we go. 
yep, it looks huge, but at least we have a button now and we can see that right here. So if we press this now, then just watch it over here. I'm gonna press it on my phone. It should go a little bit lighter. Yeah, you see that? It does, it goes lighter. So that is because the pressed class is being applied when pressed is true. All right, so as well as adding styles to the button, we can also add another prop, which is an on press um, handler. So we can fire a function when a user presses this thing. So let me just scoot this down to the next line to format this a little bit better. And I will also move this to the next line as well. And then we're gonna add this on press prop and set it equal to a function. I'm gonna call this handle submit. So we need to create this function up here somewhere inside the login component. So let me do that. I'm gonna say const handle submit is equal to a function. So when a user presses this now, it's gonna fire this function. And all I'm gonna do is say console.log and I'll put something like register form submitted. All right. So now in order to see this console log, we have to open this up and come right down to the bottom. Now I'm gonna press this login thing and it says register form submitted. Of course, that should say login form submitted. All right, cool. So now we have this pressable component and it's all working. Okay, so now we've got a pressable component which looks and behaves very much like a button in the application, which is cool. Now, because I'll be using buttons like this quite frequently within the application, I think it might be a good idea to extract this pressable component and its styles into a reusable button component, which we make ourselves. And then if we ever wanna use that button in different pages, then we can do so easily. So then let's do that. Let's make a component inside the components folder called themed button .jsx. And this won't be themed using light and dark modes, by the way, because it's going to use the same primary color as the background of the button, no matter what the color scheme is set to be, right? And inside this file, I'm just going to paste in some code so we can walk through it together. And the reason I'm pasting this in is because we've already seen how to use this pressable component and how to make reusable components in the past as well. So I don't want to waste your time by writing all of this out from scratch. But we have this component called themed button, which accepts the style prop as well as the rest of any other props we passed in. So that could be the on pressed prop, for example. And then inside the template, we register this pressable component where we apply those same styles, which are also defined in the style sheet down here. So this is all exactly the same as we made inside the login page. We also output the rest of the props right here so that if we do pass an on press prop into this themed button component, then it gets added right here. So now we can just use this custom component whenever we need a button instead of having to use the pressable component and style it manually every time. So let's go back to the login page and we're gonna use this themed button component instead. Okay, so let's do it right here. I'm gonna say themed button like so. And then we also need the on press prop right here. So we can register that function, which was called handle submit. So let's copy it and paste it here. I remember the prop gets forwarded on to the actual component where we add it to the pressable component then. So now we have the themed button inside it. We need some text. So let's add that component and the text will say login. And then we also wanna apply a style to this. So we'll say style is equal to an object where we just apply the color. And that is gonna be F2, I think it was that we used, F2, F2. All right, so now we need to import the themed button. So let's copy that, change this and this to themed button. And then we'll save it and see if this works. And I think, yeah, it's still all working. It's still there, isn't it? So. Now, I just want to make this look a little bit better because currently um, this is taking up the full width of the page. Now we can combat that by coming to the container itself and we can say align items and we're going to set that to be center. And if I save this now, yep, that goes back to the middle, which is better. Awesome. Okay, so now let's do a similar thing for the other page, for the register page. So I'm gonna actually copy a lot of this. I'm gonna copy the button and go over here and paste it in. I'm gonna also come back over here and copy the function. And we're gonna paste that in up here. We need to change a couple of things, by the way. This should be register. 
and this should say register right here and then also we need the import which is right here so let's grab that and let's paste that up here save it and now if I go to the register screen okay it's not working so something's not quite right I think it's because we've not got the text component imported so let's save that again I'm going to go to the login then register yeah that's working but we also need to come down here and add the style which was align items and that's going to be center save it yep that's working awesome so now we have these pressable components and if we open up the terminal and scroll right to the bottom we'll see that these are working if we click on register if I can do that it's not working why is that not working let's have a look okay so I just actually reloaded the application by shaking the phone and now it's working so it must just have needed that reload I'm going to go to the login page and try that again and yeah that's working as well awesome